Hello, in this video, I'll give a quick overview of my Understanding Python Regex ebook. This book features plenty of examples and exercises to help you get a thorough understanding of Python regular expressions. Most programming languages support regular expressions as part of the standard library. If not, you can usually find a third party solution. Python's string class comes loaded with lots of methods to deal with text. So what's so special about regular expressions and why do you need to learn it? You can view regular expressions as a mini programming language specialized for text processing. Parts of regular expression can be saved for future use. You can perform AND or NOT conditionals. There are operations similar to the range function string reputation operator and so on. Some common use cases for regular expressions include sanitizing a string, for example, to check if it matches password rules, filtering and extracting portions based on an abstract level like alphabets, digits, punctuations and so on. Qualified string replacement, for example, only at the start or end of a string, only whole words based on some surrounding text and so on. You are likely to be familiar with search and replace tools. Matching case, replace whole words only, single replace or replace all are some of the very basic features supported by regular expressions. This book covers standard library re module as well as third party regex module which has advanced features. Concepts are presented one by one and all the chapters include plenty of examples and exercises. The introduction chapter focuses on the basics of using functions from the re module. For example, how to compile a pattern, how to apply flags, how to perform search and replace and so on. There are three types of anchors, string anchors, line anchors and word anchors. For example, searching for R will match anywhere in the input string. But if you add a word anchor, this will match only at the end of the words. Alternation allows you to specify multiple patterns and grouping helps you to extract common portions. For example, let's say you want to match tea or coffee. The dot meta character helps you to match any character and quantifiers help you to specify how many times a character or grouping should be matched. For example, an or or followed by zero or more characters and then another R. There are plenty of features to extract and work with matching portions. For example, let's say we want only these parts. We can use find all. We can match colon and a space and then capture rest of the line. So you get these three values. Character classes will help you create your own custom placeholders and there are predefined character sets as well. For example, let us match vowel characters. We can also invert this set. We can also define a range of characters. And there are predefined sets like digits, word characters, non-word character and so on. You can reuse portions matched by capture groups via back references. For example, you can capture a word character and back reference it immediately to find repeated word characters. Lookarounds will help you to match a portion only if some other condition is also satisfied. For example, matching a word only if there is a colon character later in the line. The third party regex module offers advanced features like sub expression calls, variable look behinds, skipping matches, and so on. 
and finally some curated resources are provided hope you will find this book on python regular expressions useful happy learning